First to you, let's take a look at the editorial uh, on the top of your newspaper and two others. These are Alabama's biggest papers this morning, all saying that Roy Moore should be rejected by the voters and the Democrat Doug Jones should be elected. Does it make your job harder on the news side when the opinion side is calling for Moore to lose the race? Well, being part of the media here in Alabama, which is a very conservative state, uh, we're used to hearing the, the fake news uh, leveled at us pretty much all the time. And, and all I can do is do my job that my source is and uh, just do journalism the best that I can. It seems this is a situation where it's not just random Twitter trolls shouting fake news. It's actually, Anna Claire, it's actually your neighbors. That must be hard. It can be some time, but you know, uh, a lot of times when I write about controversial things, uh, probably 80% of my inbox is negative emails from people who are upset. And honestly, this time, I'd say it's closer to 50-50. I've gotten a lot of responses from readers who say, yeah, we're, we appreciate what you're doing. We appreciate the, the good journalism that's happening here. And uh, we want everybody to know that not all of us are supporting war. So I've gotten a lot of good feedback as well. And Elena, you're there in Alabama as well. Is it fair to say that at this point Roy, Roy Moore is running an anti-media campaign? Is that really his strategy with 23 days left? Absolutely. And here's the reason why, Brian. I, I, you know, I spent the last week interviewing members of Kayla Moore's ex-husband's family to kind of see if what's being reported about Roy Moore is in fact a pattern in their eyes. I've been struck by the question I've gotten over and over is not, well, do we think these allegations are true? It's why now? Why now? And I think that plays exactly into the fake news narrative because they see, many of them see the very act of reporting as antagonistic. The Washington Post didn't send reporters here to, you know, flesh out their coverage of a Senate race as they would in any state, but rather explicitly to condemn and dig up dirt on Roy Moore. So, so that's with the that claim. mentality. Let's go to Mark and ask, though. Mark, is that why you all sent reporters to Alabama? No, not at all. In fact, our reporter was in Alabama working on a story about uh, Roy Moore's supporters, the pastors who supported him, and it was only in the course of that that she was uh, she stumbled upon this story about uh, the young women who Roy Moore had approached early on. Uh, so it really was almost accidental that the reporting took that turn, uh, and it was kind of organic. You know, our reporter uh, who. who first got onto this story as being attacked as being part of some sort of northern outside agitator uh, press when in fact she's from Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know there's a long history in Alabama and, and, and you know in much of the country of seeing the press as this sort of outside agitator invading